Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another riveting episode of Haters Gonna Hate. As always, I'm your host, The Gator. Let's get this ball a-rolling. So this first one comes from I Like Foxes. Uh, they say, excuse me, are you sure that guy wasn't just you in disguise? I mean, with the loser that you are, I'm surprised you have any friends at all. I mean, come on, you're such a fucking sleaze, and your YouTube content is shit. Oh, I forgot, you can't even do a 360 backflip. First off... That guy was definitely there. Wasn't me in disguise. No matter how hard and how much effort I put into it, I'm never going to look as good as that guy. I mean, look at him. He's a stud. I mean, I know I'd hit it. I know you would. So don't lie, Foxes. I like Foxes, whatever your name is. As far as a 360 backflip go, yeah, I can't do a 360 backflip. Barely anyone I know can do that. Maybe like three people that I know can do 360 backflips. And I do have friends. I have all kinds of friends. I have so many friends that your head would spin. Next up to bat, we got Provoking Perch. He says, if I had several clams that could judge the mediocrity of your YouTube video, and I called them into a boardroom at 9.30 a.m. on a frosty Saturday eve, the sheer intense nature of their criticism would harvest the very conjunctive, whatever the fuck word that is, from my retinal enhancement. I raise my dasho to iDubs TV. Long live the busty cricket. Amen. Well, provoking perch, the only thing I have to say to that is, uh. What do you mean? That. Next up, we got Sam Strax leaving the comment. He says, I know there were some crazy sex toys in that duffel bag, you gay bastards. You called up that guy because you needed his dick so bad. I bet the business trip was to discuss your new porno channel, Gator's Cock. I gotta be honest with you, that sounds like a great idea. Uh, if I can only talk that guy into doing it, uh, you know, I've tried. Uh, you know, I even when we got the hotel room up there, I put in the order and I put in just one king size bed hoping that maybe I could get something going. But at the front desk when we got there, that guy was all like, well, let's get let's get two queen size beds here. Let's separate this up. Uh, you know, of course, breaking my heart. And here I am with a duffel bag just full of crazy sex toys that I never got to use on anyone other than myself when I was alone. All right, guys, now the last one here, I'm not gonna, you know, write out on the screen because it's kind of long. Uh, it comes from Lame Bitch Lame Borofsky, and it reads, May, I understand that you are trying hard to be funny and just entertain your subs, and sometimes there will be people that dislike your style, videos, jokes, etc. But there's one thing you got to understand. People's criticism can't be wrong. Criticism is basically an opinion of a person, a thought, a comment, and every time you come across people that give you their opinions on your work, you have to listen to them. You have to know what people like and dislike about you so you can improve yourself. Just listen to these people and try to think what people love. Now, every bit of that statement is wrong and a bunch of bullshit. I don't have to do anything. I don't even have to put out videos. I don't have to listen to you. I don't have to read your comment. I don't have to do anything. Everything I do is by choice. That's the great thing about this being my YouTube channel and not your YouTube channel, is I can do whatever I want. Uh, the second you want to start telling people what to do, why don't you just go make your own channel and yeah, then you can show me because you'll be so much better than me. Uh, but this whole thing about criticism, basically an opinion and how criticism can't be wrong, that's going to be the dumbest part of this whole thing. Of course criticism can be wrong. Of course it can. People critique people all the time and they're just wrong. You know, saying, oh, you know, I think Adam Sandler's a better actor than Leonardo DiCaprio because he can pull off humor better. That's just wrong. I mean, that doesn't make him a better actor. Sure, it's criticism that you just gave. But it is wrong. You say, literally, you say people's criticism can't be wrong. You're wrong for saying that. So I just want to, you know, read that and tell you how wrong you were. I'm sure everybody agrees with me other than, you know, your typical haters and yourself. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys for stopping by. Uh, this was, once again, a lot of fun for me. Um, thanks for the weird comments. I asked you guys to leave some weird ones, and you did, from uh, Provoking Perch and I Like Foxes. A uh, couple weird things. Uh, Dudu said the thing about the hairless dick. That was hilarious. Uh, but other than that, thank you guys for stopping by. As always, I've been Gator, and you've been great. Peace.